Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, today I am going to uh, explain you what is case expression in Oracle SQL. Uh, before starting with this, uh, <coughs> I just let you know, I hope that you have uh, watched my previous video on deposit statement. So if you have not watched, I am just providing you the link to my uh, decode, uh, decode expression, decode function uh, tutorial. Uh, you can follow that up and you will get some idea. Uh, so, case expression is also something like uh, <coughs> if else statement. Uh, it is uh, like switch case in C, C++ or select case in VB, uh, Visual Basic. So, <coughs> it is something like that. Okay, well, so where you put uh, a condition and uh, on that condition there should be now in this uh, here what we do here we are providing uh, uh, the actual syntax for case expression is case then variable ok then when va value of this variable suppose some value when value say value 1 then <coughs> result when value 2 then result 2 ok make it result 1 when value 3 then result 3 end ok so you can put numerous number of uh, when value value and then return the result and you have to put an end after all the conditions given just like cases just like if and end is just like end if so here i am using three field one is emp6 one is emp grade and one is emp category now in this three field <coughs> let us just start with this one so if emp grade equal to w then worker i'm just not explaining as details as i've explained this in the previous video but if somehow if you don't have time to watch the decode so i'm just explaining a little bit if emp grade is a field uh, there's a employee master table <coughs> okay just move to here and select distinct emp grade emp sets and emp category from employee master okay just a moment uh, I think uh, there is some condition value problem with the value of EB grade Okay, so uh, this is the MP grid. Uh, let us just uh, take this out and just show you here. So okay, so MP grid is uh, W and S. MP six is M and F, and MP categories P and C. So okay, my condition is here. If MP grid W worker, uh, I will uh, just display worker. If else it MP grid S, I will display staff. Else not mentioned. In MP6 also, if it is male, M, then ML, else if MP6F, then female, else not mentioned. And in, so here also, if P, then permanent, else if a category C, then casual, else not mentioned. Now the question is, I have to, I just put a, an else here. Suppose uh, you integrate somebody, uh, there is a null, okay, for a male, suppose a worker employee then it, if you put else then after the mp grade equal to w if you put else and don't put mp grade equal to s and everything will be stopped other than w okay so here also everything if else part if you put female so everything will be female other than m and if you by chance some male person is value mp6 value is not put properly it will just feel female so that's why I just put this and it's also uh, will help you understand better so here is and now I'll just write the school statement select uh, suppose I'm taking two more fields one is EMP code EMP name 
Now I will start here. Case first one is EMP great. When uh, W then worker when S then else not mentioned and now this whole is representing one field that is EMP grid ok so let us give an alias EMP grid in the same way I will just copy this and just don't want to write a and waste time and make you bore EMP6 if it is M then make it male ok when F then female else not mentioned EMP6 you can also put uh, I'll just put in the same thing ok 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 let, let it be let it be I don't want to mess it up so you can also put the same alias name as, as field name EMP underscore grid EMP underscore grid doesn't matter ok so I can understand that it is an alias so EMP category P first prominent C have to be casual never mentioned just joking uh, <laughs> EMP grid uh, sorry EMP category from employee master so it will just give me a huge number of records ok so just move out and clear the screen go to the buffer and paste it see ok so you can well understand that now since there is a huge number of records uh, suppose we can do one thing let us try something okay, okay suppose where EMP set equal to F okay so these are the female staff and on worker so you can see that uh, it's same as the decode statement if you have uh, gone to the decode statement I am writing a single scale statement and I am just giving description to all the short code name that is EMP category PC, EMP6, FM and EMP create S and W. I am giving a description. You can also do it by a PL SQL block. You can write a block, you can write a procedure which returns something like this. You have to write uh, three different procedures. Okay, get the EMP category description, get EMP grade description, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm not doing that thing. I'm not writing a whole bunch of codes and making it junky. I'm writing, I'm writing a simple SQL statement which actually returns pages. You can also make, uh, suppose, uh, what will I say? You can make uh, uh, a separate table which can have code and description of EMP category. Suppose okay you can do all this uh, that should be occupy a table in the space in, in the database but here I don't want to do that I'm just writing it so what will you do you will just with this you will create a view you will create a view and with in that view you will ju I'll just I'll just remove all this and make it distinct ok so with this if you add three more columns here what I am trying to explain you suppose you will be great ok and so 
you have the alias name okay so I create a view and with that view you can just set a condition here and print the name uh, get the details okay so I'm just don't, don't want to confuse you with all so I'm just returning to my previous stage state so you can just create a view with this and get the employee details uh, just to move the conditions or where conditions or whatever okay so something like this so what I am trying to explain that if you put up this, this type of case statement so you can uh, it can it consist of this description and put it in a view and when you call that view you get, get the details of the employee with the descriptions not the short form so this is the select the case expression in Oracle PLS uh, it uh, <coughs> it is very simple okay make make your SQL code very simple and very effective uh, so that's all about this uh, case expression and if you like the video uh, do press the like button and definitely press the dislike button if you don't like the video please comment okay if you are not satisfied with my tutorial okay uh, you can also subscribe to my channel that is a cphro 19076 thank you very much